Continuing on, pro-choice advocates are working to get abortion access on Ohio's ballot this November, but they need over 400,000 signatures by July. Our Trent Croce is in studio. Now, Trent, you spoke with some state representatives on both sides of this issue. What exactly are they saying? Yes, Tatiana, that's right. I spoke with state rep and reproductive rights advocate Michelle Grimm while she was out collecting some of those signatures. And meanwhile, state representative Josh Williams and other Republican lawmakers are supporting legislation which can make abortion access harder. 413,000 signatures in over 44 counties. It's a lofty number of signatures. Ohio State Representative Michelle Grimm is working again while standing outside the United Auto Workers Local 12's union building on Saturday. This is right after a federal judge in Texas halted the medication mufepristone, most commonly prescribed for abortions. Um, I think it's really important that we enshrine uh, reproductive rights in the Ohio Constitution to make sure that those rights are protected. Drivers pulled up to sign their names throughout the afternoon. The goal is to get the proposed right to reproductive freedom with protections for health and safety on the November 2023 ballot. People are really excited to sign the petition. Um, they were really excited to come out. Um, so, you know, I'm really grateful for all, everybody who came out today. It would amend Article 1 of Ohio's Constitution, allowing every individual the right to make and carry out their own reproductive decisions, which the state cannot prohibit against, but could be after fetal viability determination on a case-by-case -case basis, which is used for determining the fetus's likelihood of survival with a reasonable measure. However, state representatives like Josh Williams are against pushing for more legalized abortions. He's pushing for others like Joint Resolution 1, which would require a vote of at least 60% of electors to approve any constitutional amendment. In a recent public statement, Williams says, quote, I support this resolution not because it will stop this push towards legalizing abortions. Instead, I support this resolution because it will make it harder to allow groups to shape our state without the overwhelming support of voters. And right now, the amendment to increase the voting threshold to 60% is still under House review. Reporting in studio, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.